History of the Zora, Part 7, The Hero Who Defeated the Lynon, as told by King Dorifon. There was a time when the people of the land were threatened by the dreadful beast, Ly-something, who lived on Plymouth Mountain. But one Hylian drove the beast back and restored peace to the domain. The Zora Helm uh, was one a uh, one in this fight in the the north of the blank in the ruins near something lake. Huh. It rests there to this or to honor the deeds of the hero Link. All right. I guess we're going to try to find that helm. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, man, we defeated Ganon, and the game is over. Except it's not, because apparently there are different versions of Ganon. Also, a really sick adaptation of the Skyward Sword demise theme. Today, we're going to be doing all sorts of things, actually. I do not want this game to just me to just be me going to all the different divine beast locations beating them and just moving on i would like to find everything available to me everywhere this is an open world game and technically it's it's a lot like majora's mask where there are four main objectives at least from my my perspective this early on in the game there are four main objectives and an infinite amount of things to do in between those objectives so I am looking for an a helm with near a four where, where did that thing go a four letter lake name so if you'll excuse me I'm gonna go find that right now there's time with people <laughs> by the dreadful beast Lie something who lived on Plymouth Mountain. Hylian, yes. Something like, all right. Total Lake, right? All right, so Total Lake. Or Lulu Lake. Oh, it's definitely, it's definitely Lulu Lake. Because Ploymus Mountain, it's not Plymouth Mountain. It's Ploymus, so by the Lionel, oh, it's Lionel, not Leiden or whatever I said before. It's by the Lionel, who lived on Ploymouth, or whatever it's called, Mountain. And it's near Lulu Lake. Alright, I got it. So it, it has to be north of Ploymus Mountain north of Lulu Lake. All right, let's head there now. Up to Lulu Lake. What is here? Oi. All right, beautiful Lulu Lake. And it's north of this, which means I have to go above it. Actually, isn't this where I first came in? No, it's not, but there is this history of the zora addentum one prince sidon's great escape there was once a giant octorok in hitano bay large as a mountain which terrorized the village's fishers hearing of their distress prince sidon went forth to personally eliminate the offending octorok but this octorok was a tricky beast after the prince dodged one of the stones it spat it inhaled him whole such had been the fate of many strong warriors who went to slay the octorok not one came back alive just as it seemed Prince Sidon would be counted among them, the giant Octrok twisted in pain. The tip of a silver scale spear pierced the Octrok's stomach from within, revealing itself as the source of the beast's agony. Incredibly, Prince Sidon had fought his way out by stabbing the spear over and over into the monster's stomach. Unable to bear the pain, the Octrok coughed up the prince and scrambled to escape. Ever since, the fishers of Hitano Bay have passed down this heroic tale, the prince who slew the fell Octrok. That's neat and all, but that's not what I'm after. Well, I'm not finding the helm, 
which was supposed to be north of Lulu Lake. So if you guys know where that is, post it in the comments, because I've been all over Ploymus Mountain. It's not there. Unless, somehow, the the Lionel has it? It's, it's nowhere to be found here, but... Uh, this is really off the beaten path, though. There's a shrine over there. Ah, oh, man. You know what, I'm gonna leave that for a later date, because... Because this episode is about exploring what I've seen thus far, not about exploring what is in an area that's completely unknown to me. So, let's just avoid that for now. So, unfortunately, I was unable to find the helm. Whether or not it's the reward for defeating the Lionel or not, I don't know. But, I'm actually back at the Great Plateau. Because you guys, uh, you guys told me that there was a reward, or not a reward, but there was something I missed over by the river. And so I'm back here to go check that out. And if I don't find anything, I'll cut it out. But I think there might be something. Uh, first, let's equip our tunic and this. Does it still make us cold? Yes, it does, right? Yes, it does. So I guess I'll just heal through it. So I did some cooking in between episodes. I also found a bunch of treasure and items and awesome things. Every single weapon on my back, at, at least I think every single one, is new. And I found them all in between episodes, so it's it's pretty neat. Also, those are chews. That, that's neat. But I'm going. I'm definitely going to have to heal soon, but I can work through the pain, I think. But I'm looking for something in the river. I have no idea what. But it was something that was available to me originally when I first when I was first here. And it was very vague. You guys just said, check out the rip. Is this it? Maybe this is it. It looks like it. There's a sword. But there are also three chests. Well, regardless of whether or not this is what you guys were alluding to, I think this is worth it. Got some arrows. A broadsword. And another chest, which contains... A boca bow. Well, I mean, I got some, I got some arrows. I'm still cold. Well, that's neat, I guess. Hardy truffle. Uh, that's really valuable. Uh, what do I eat? Just fish skewer. There we go. All right. If I jump into the water, will I just die? What? Oh, hello, hello, damage. And now, back at Omen Al Shrine, also on the Great Plateau, I actually got this tip by watching my father play, and also Nova. There is something over here. There were, there were some chests that I was unable to obtain at the time, but I actually, I, I could have obtained them, I just didn't use my brain. And I'm not sure if I had Cryonis yet, but you needed Cryonis to get it, so let's equip that quickly and the there are these two chests here so hooray for me watching essentially spoilers but it's kind of unable to be helped but these will contain arrows if I recall yeah fire arrows and ice arrows I believe what do you know I was right so next I actually wanted to tackle a quest that we pick up picked up a while back over, well, actually, we picked it up at the stables, uh, and it was talking about how there's a hidden treasure above a river's source, and what I was thinking, it says the little twin steps over the big, or the little river, my cave rests above that river's source, and my thought was, if I go to the map here, this river, well, there are, it's called Big Twin Bridge, right? So, either A, the treasure lies there. Which is actually very unlike or very likely. Uh, the little twin spe steps over the little river. Little river right here. You're stepping over it. And above that river source, it would be around there. Or it would be at the river's 
main source, which is Lake Jura. So I'm going to check out the closest one. But, uh, yeah, I would like to try and tackle that. But first, I saw this along the way and decided I would, I would get this treasure real quick. I mean, there's no reason not to, right? It's, it's really easy to get. Also, heart's back, which is cool. What's it have inside? An opal. Well, that's pretty nice. As for you... hoo I can tell you've trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiga clan? Pass. What? You're refusing? Why don't you at least hear what I gotta say first? The Yiga clan, it's... A powerful, brave group of warriors founded by King Ko Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero long thought dead. I will take your life. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Whatever. You, you can, no, did you hurt my horse? You hurt my horse. You hurt my horse. You're dead. You are dead. You hurt him again. Oh my word. You don't even, you can't even fathom how dead you are. You are deader than dead. Oh my word, you hurt heart. You dropped a sickle. And you dropped... Ba bananas? Oh. Okay. <laughs> don't know why you dropped... <laughs> I got a green rupee! You dropped bananas. Okay. Well, that was special. Whoa, 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 boss! Oh, it's a boss. This is what I get for exploring, guys. I get to fight a boss. Run, heart, please. Stalnox. Well, this ain't no bo a treasure, but it's an enemy. Whoa, he... Oh, I, I should probably uh, be aware that my health is a little bit lower than I'd like. Uh, this is, I guess, the episode where I do everything. <laughs> I go everywhere and do random stuff, but that's fine. Uh, I'm I'm content with that. I'm at least doing something. Let's see. Uh, I cooked some food in between episodes. Let's eat that fish skewer. I think what's going to be effective here are not fire arrows, bomb arrows. Did that work? No. Man, this guy is is after me. I'm stuck on the thing. I mean, they're hurting him, but they're not blowing up. I'll s oh! My word! Okay, insta-kill move. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Thank you, Mifa. Come on. What is hurting me? Oh, just choose. It's really hard to see. Alright, so there's his insta-kill move. I just need to kite him. And do that. There we go. If I shoot him in the eye, then good things will happen run in between his legs. I'm so glad they, they nixed the thing where if you just touch an enemy, you get hurt. That was always really annoying. Alright, so my bomb arrows are out. Even though they never actually exploded for some reason. Going down to normal arrows. So if I shoot him in the eye, that's his weakness. And he'll drop his log. Ow. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Alright. Uh, this won't get me up to where I need to be. Uh, I cooked something with a damage buff. Yeah, this. Let's eat that. Alright, neat. So I guess I won't try to hit him unless he is... He's stunned, like... Not so... Oh, he has a rib now. Alright. And he's a terrible throw. No. Missed. Alright. There's another rib. But he's a terrible throw, right? Don't prove me wrong, thank you. No, I missed. Laser eyes, I think, maybe. And also, this weapon is not the most effective. The spear, or the halberd, or the guardian, guardian spear. All right, get ready to shoot him again. Nope, wait until he's still, wait until he's still. Whoa! That's not good. That's not good. That's the opposite of good. I fell. I didn't see. Well, at least I'm out of range of his attacks. 
no, no, Link, 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 Link. Okay, this is not good. Get my stamina back. Get it back quick, get it back quick. I don't want this damage to fall off. I've worked really hard for this. Up. Get up, Link. Thank you. Let's get its attention. Okay, good. The damage did not fall off. All right, there's his... Oh, he's not getting a tree. Man, I need to be careful. Because he can and will insta-kill me. I also need to be careful of where I'm moving. Case and point. He's about to throw his thing. Okay, but he's really a terrible shot. All right, he's getting a tree. Maybe. Got him. All right, get up close. Get some good damage in. Under his feet, not a good place to be. But he's running out of ribs to throw, which is good. All right, can I throw this or shoot this? Nope. Please don't insta kill me. Don't insta kill me, buddy. He's in trouble as long as he has to be in the trees. He's about to pitch it. Maybe not. It's really hard to tell with this guy. A lot of his movements look alike. Where is he going? What is what is he doing? A lot of the bosses seem to do that. They'll just get confused every now and then. Are you going to throw it at me? Because I'm waiting. Buddy? I'm waiting for you. No, do your worst. Alright, I guess I'm going to try and shoot him. No, I'm stuck on a tree. He's just trying to come at me. He's not trying to throw it anymore. Okay, where am I going? I'm just circling around. I'm stuck in a bush. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? He's just moving really fast. Ready, set. Oh, he's covering his face this time. He's smart. Get out of the way! Whew. Run, run, run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What up? Did he die? What? That is... No, that's disappointing. He just... Uh, I use so many arrows, too. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Uh, at least now I know. In fact, I'll place a marker. Place a stamp. Boss. Alright, onward with our adventure. Come on, heart. Nothing happened. What are you talking about? Alright, at the river's mouth, the treasure lies. So let's equip our Zora gear. And head up to... Oy, the top of here. What? What is this? Just a rock? No significance to the rock? Nope, it's a Korok. Alright. <laughs> There's so many weird things that Koroks... That, that trigger Koroks appearing. Go away, rock. Alright, nothing around here. No treasure. Alright, let's go to this river's mouth. Wait, I can't... Oh, I can't swim up this? Oh, well, that's disappointing. Well, I can, I, I can at least climb up it. And do I have an app for that? I have a, a potion of haste, right? Hasty elixir. Yes. Alright, so let's climb this thing really quickly. Really quickly, guys. Do you see how quickly I'm climbing this? You don't even know. I, I'm a speedy speedster. I have to reach the very top of this. Oh, dear. Well, at least there are some ledges to take breaks on. Oh, hello! <gasps> Did I find it? Oh, I think I found it! I think I found it! At the t mouth, or at the source of a river, after there are some twins and stuff, treasure. A soldier's spear. No one really cares. But treasure chest, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Sapphires? Yeah, I did it. Oh, man. Sapphire? They were not kidding. Sapphires are worth a lot. I'll definitely be able to get the rest of that armor now. Awesome. Oh, there's, an, there's another chest. Uh, first of all, let's drop this. Ow. Get, uh, 
get some old drumsticks. I have no clue how there were drumsticks here. And there's another chest. There's so much stuff. <laughs> An opal. <laughs> this was so worth it. Amber? I mean, that's less so, but... The fun ain't over. The fun... The fun don't stop. Or... Once you... You, you pop them, the... I don't remember what the, the thing was. There's another chest. Oh, ho, ho. Fl flame blade? The magical sword that was forged in the lava of Death Mountain. It leaves white hot flames in its wake when the sword gl or when the blade glows red. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> what do I even drop for that? I have so much good stuff. Okay, I can drop the boomerang. That, that was much easier than I thought. The flame blade! I'm playing Terraria now! Also, apparently the boomerang's better than the spear, so let's... Let's do that. Oh, oh man, wait, we need to see this thing. Oh! Oh! It's so cool! I found the treasure! Oh man, there are no more chests, right? Just make sure I'm not missing something. Make sure the comments don't kill me and put me like crucify me and kill me no all right then quest complete now let's go face that stupid boss oh boy run under his legs again it confuses him at the very least buys me some time no I missed oh boy I don't have that many arrows to waste on this what on what 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 was that animation? <laughs> what was that? Game? I should have run under him, but instead I got stuck and then he just casually drops the log on my head. <laughs> uh game, you're you're something special. There we go. Whoa, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's not good. Running? Worst time for it to run out of battery. Good shot, pal. No problem, it's what I do. Oh, don't hit me, don't kill me. I'm just a gentle soul. Alright, I need to be good at aiming here. Perfect, perfect. That's exactly what, I, what needed to happen. One more. Run! All right, when he goes, oh, never mind. He's ignoring the log. Oh, that was not a good shot, apparently. According to the game, these are not good shots. But that one was. Oh, it's the eyeball. Come on, kill the eyeball. I need a new weapon, Lizal Spear. Keep it away from the body. Get away, Keese. Get away, Keese. Keese, that this is the worst time. Keese, you, mmm, Keese. I hate me some Keese. Stupid shoes. Stupid Keese. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yes. Now running. All right, so that's my game plan. Run underneath his legs. He'll miss. No, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm glad I caught that. All right, uh, what will heal, heal me up to full health? This? No. This will, but that'll be better. Hearty meat and seafood fry? Sign me up for some surf and turf. <laughs> That'll kill him. I think I can just kill him the rest of the way. Oh, one HP. One HP, and it is down. And that's a boss. Another nick in my shield. I got a Hinox tooth. Tooth obtained from a Hinox. It's so large, it's hard to believe it's a real tooth. It can be used to make elixirs. A thunder blade. <laughs> I have a flame blade and a thunder blade. I have no weapon slots. Well, I can drop this. Uh, drop. Neat. 
giant boomerang? <laughs> it requires two hands. Okay. That's exactly what I needed in life. I have the halberd. Where'd the... Where'd the Thunderblade go? Did I already get it? I already got it. Whoa, I have a Flame Blade and a Thunderblade. That's insane. And a... Some stuff. I don't need any, either of those. But did it not drop any treasures? Normally they do. I mean, I'm fine with it, but normally they... I mean, I guess I'm basing my, my definition of normal off of what that one boss dropped that one time. Oh, this thing's gorgeous. All right. So neat. I wasn't expecting to fight a boss today, but I did. All right, so the next place I would like to go is Kakariko Village. Because we have a lot of money. We've gotten a treasure this episode. We've gotten a ton of swords, a ton of cool, awesome weapons. Uh, and I think I can afford the Sheikah armor set now. I would really like to get it. Plus, there are some side quests there uh, and other things. Now, we do. I did actually forget to do something in Zora's Domain, but I will save that until the end of the episode. So, let's go to Kakariko Village and buy up that armor. Da-da, da-da, da-da. Ah, man. It's always nice to land from the sky, from our loft wing in Kakariko Village, because Skyward Sword is awesome. All right, let's head in here. There's our armor. We can buy that straight up, and that's worth 600. So basically, my, my test will be whether or not I can sell enough stuff to make 600 rupees. Let's find out. The answer is yes. Oh, man. Finally, I have the entire set. Equip. Equip. And equip. We are now the stealthiest thing alive. And the most handsome thing ever invented by man. Oh, boy. I'm like... <laughs> I am basically get to sneak around in my pajamas. With a man bun, because I have chopsticks in my hair. This is living the dream. <laughs> Link's doing the vertical worm right now. Alright, so that's not quite it for this episode. I still would like to head back to Zora's Domain. Now that we've done so much, not as much as I would have liked. I, I wanted to originally just take out a bunch of shrines this episode, but circumstances did not, did not lend themselves towards that happening. So let's head back to Zora's Domain and complete a quest involving a certain Lionel. Hello, young lady. Or, I, I guess you're older than me, but hello, young lady. Uh, I heard you wanted some photos of a certain Lionel. I have your picture. Oh, wow, please show me. Wah! <clears throat> My apologies. That sound was not very dignified, was it? P -p pardon me, I'm all better now. That Lionel, how terrifying. You can barely see it, but okay. One look at this, and I doubt anyone would, would get any reckless ideas about visiting Ploymus Mountain. Thank you. I'll tell the children of the domain about this. Maybe that will scare them away from the mountain. All right. Now for your reward. Zora Greaves. To go along with our Zora armor. And they help us swim. These Zora Greaves were once made by skilled craftsmen in order, by order of an ancient Zora king. Now they're fairly common. As you may know, East Reservoir Lake was created in a collaboration between Hylians and the Zora. E after East Reservoir Lake was finished, we made Zora Greaves as a token of friendship for Hylians who came to visit. But over time, the number of Hylians visiting the domain dwindled, and my father had to close his armor shop. These Zora Greaves here were the last pair left in the stockroom when he closed up shop. Wearing these, even a Hylian can swim as well as a Zora. That said, these would be wasted on me. They're only useful for a Hylian like you. Please take good care of them. Cool. And that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode that worked out so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. 
And next time, we're going to be, hopefully, tracking down some shrines. Because I want more stamina. This, this amount of stamina was cool when we first began the game. But now that I'm realizing the scale of the world, it's not all that it cracked up to be. So, we are going to be, hopefully, tackling some more shrines. Probably in, if I had to hazard a guess, probably in this area. Uh, maybe I could fly from Cornell Peak to that one island that we saw a shrine at. Uh, but otherwise, I would, I would like to get some more, some more shrines. There are probably some that we've missed in this area since I haven't explored it much. We kind of went from the, the, uh, the stables directly to Hateno Village. And I didn't make any stops along the way. So, we are going to be rectifying that. Maybe checking out what the Peak of Awakening is all about. And, uh, exploring the world. And hopefully not being stat checked. Because that was kind of dumb. Alright. See you guys next time for another Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You can also... <laughs> I don't know why I'm instructing you on how to make explosions or fire. Well, I guess... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Two of them! Two of them! What? Speaking of explosions... And... Throw it at him. Re-equip the Claymore, since that'll be better. Kill them both. Knock the sword out of his hand from behind. <laughs>